I know, I'm sorry. Hey everyone, headed to a call in Awatuki. A uh, gentleman has a rattlesnake in his backyard. I guess it's just kind of cruising along the back fence there. They said it's a Western Diamondback rattlesnake. Um, I think I've been to this house and I think I got two blacktail rattlesnakes uh, in their yard last time. So I'm kind of hoping that it's a blacktail and they just misidentified it. But either way, headed to go get a rattlesnake out of the backyard. He's in, he's in the bush. Oh, in the bush. Nice spot with the drip here. There he is. All right, old buddy. A good hiding spot. Still very hard to see even. See him? He's like right in the middle. Very hard to see. If he was under there to begin with, you would have never found him. <laughs> Buddy. I know, I'm sorry. I know that wasn't very fun. I'll get you, I'll let you get a good look at him down here. All right, sweet. <laughs> do you want me to uh, to do a quick walk through or? Okay. Little one here. Well, that was a pretty easy call. Didn't take me that long. It was close to my house, so uh, win, win, win. It's a beautiful day outside today. Uh, it's uh, 95 degrees, which is absolutely amazing headed home for now more snake calls to come i'm sure good morning everybody i am with jill from our fencing department actually we're both from the fencing department what we like to do is we like to go to hoas and other communities to go talk about rattlesnakes we can't stop talking about rattlesnakes it never ever ends for us. If anybody doubts if we know anything about rattlesnakes, I think you just need to take a look into our life. And hey, just, we got a break, let's go talk about rattlesnakes. Do you wanna go do rattlesnake stuff? <laughs> All the time. Well, we really like this one because we get to bring animals out, but it's really great. We, um, we talk about myths, we dispel rumors, and we geek out for a little bit, and hopefully people's perspective on rattlesnakes changes. It actually helps a lot. Yeah, I like doing these HOA events because it gives us a chance to talk to people that we might not uh, get to talk to otherwise, you know, in red nature centers or something like that. Uh, you know, it's a little bit different, so it's really, really cool when we get to do these and talk to folks that just want to learn about animals in their area and how to safely live live amongst them so everybody gets along. It is possible to live amongst them and not have problems. So yeah, it's good. We're actually headed down to Tucson. We got the long drive down there and uh, we'll take you along for what we can take you along for. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Let's go. All right, we're setting up here. Looks like a uh, Cool, we got a cool venue here actually. Big pile of rattlesnakes, all our stuff. We gotta set up on the table and get this going before people show up. Everybody's already put on a show. Funk Lord. Doesn't want to be at work today. So we're 
are getting busy enough that uh, we're running out of seating. <laughs> so I'm gonna find it. It gets pretty popular out in this in this particular. Uh, find out, see what we can get. And we are here to talk about uh, rattlesnakes. <laughs> yay! Yay! So. <laughs> Uh, beautiful community. You guys keep us quite busy. We do a lot of removals out here. We also do a lot of fencing to help try and keep the snakes on the right side of the fence. Uh, so yeah, so we're out here quite a bit. Um, we are basically the biggest snake nerd you will ever meet. I challenge you to find find somebody more uh, more geeked out on snakes than you us. Won't. You won't. You don't have to. <laughs> the common myths that you know we, we encounter we do these events all the time and believe me we hear some whoppers so uh, what we did we got together and we, we uh, compiled a list of the ones that we hear most often and ones that it can actually affect people you know if they're encountering them and that kind of stuff and we're going to talk about those myths today how's it going guys it's a beautiful day here in the Phoenix Valley and the first day that it's managed to hit 90 degrees for the season. So the snakes are out in full force and just loving this weather. I know it's been a super busy day for both Marissa and Nick on the line and they're both running calls right now so they sent one over to me. And uh, this one's over in Cave Creek for a rattlesnake in a yard. Other than that I don't know too much but I should be there in about 20 minutes and uh, we'll keep you guys in the loop. How's it going? My wife um, would like to understand why this thing ended up here. Totally understandable. <laughs> yeah. Why do you think? Um, I mean, like she's afraid that there's a whole family now. So it's pretty unlikely, though I can definitely take a general search around and just make sure for you. Uh, a lot of their behavior right now is being fueled by what's happened over the winter. Um, so they've just spent their winters likely in, I hate to say it, but probably someone's garage. Mm -hmm. um, yeah in the area and they're just now moving out for the year so they're starting that egress period yep. um, a lot of what's going to bring them to a property is going to be food water and shelter so i can definitely do a little property inspection and kind of advise you guys what to do in certain areas what might keep a or what might bring a snake to a certain part of the house this is probably the fourth snake Okay. that I've seen here. But I'll tell you, they seem to like it right underneath my thresholds of my door. Yep. That one inch, they cut, tuck in there. I don't know if the house is a little cooler in the summer. Gotcha. Yeah, so <laughs> that's exactly what it is. Mm -hmm. During those summer months when it gets super hot and the ground anywhere sunny is you know, 160 degrees, they just simply can't survive in an area like that. Yep. So they flock to anywhere that kind of mimics a cave and yeah. effectively front doors, areas that are, are shaded and have a nice overhang. All right, let's see up. this. Cool. Looks like it got quite comfy. Yeah. Sorry, I got to change that for you, buddy. Come on. Oh, he's not even fighting yet. He's... There we go. I'm getting a little bit of a chase going. Not too bad. You're okay. There, you go. there we go. Let's get a picture of that. Go for it. You got it, Kim? I you want to pet it? it? <laughs> I would if I knew. Look, look, look at his tail. Look at his tail. So he's doing this. This so. is a protection. He's like... At this point, he's just confused as to how he got airlifted in a bucket. <laughs> but he feels... They're pretty so calm pretty. at this point. So they are very guys pretty. of old age. What is eating rattlesnakes? Uh, hawks are, owls will, coyotes, um, javelinas will, a lot of our bigger mammals, bobcats. Right. So I've got our Aatrox in a bucket here, and now it's just a matter of finding a nice pack rat nest of some sort. Gotta say, it feels great out just having these hot 90 degree days again. It feels like spring's in full force and I'm all here for it. Here we go. This looks like a perfect little spot. Uh oh. It's alright. You're gonna be okay. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. 
All right, people, what is up? It's me, Nick, and I am headed out, actually just about to pull up to a call out here in Cave Creek for a little tiny baby diamondback on a back porch sitting in the shade. All right, well, let's take care of this snake. So it's right by this door. Did you want okay. to go around? No, I'll, I'll come out this door where it is. Okay. It's right by the door. Okay, no worries. Okay. <laughs> let's see where see, we it's are. right there. Oh, yep, yeah, I'll be able to step around them safely. Okay, I'll open the door. So. All right. Just a little guy. Yes. Oh, wow, really little. All right. All right, I'm just gonna poke around real quick. One time we had two rattlesnakes. It was in November, it's on, the, on this side, and I went to take my daughter to school, and my son's like, okay, mom, when you get back, there was a rattlesnake. Uh -huh. I'm watch out. And I'm like, okay, so I come home thinking, I, I was taking pictures, and I walked out, I go to take a picture, and it was the second one, it was lost. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, once they once one of them finds something they like, they'll kind of yeah, remember it. All right, people. So that was pretty easy, pretty straightforward. I'm heading out to relocate this guy right now. Obviously, this is a little baby, so we're gonna be very careful in where we relocate him. Uh, make sure that he has a nice, safe, comfortable, and cool place to hang out. Hopefully, with some prey nearby. I'm standing out here in the desert. We walked this baby snake out and found this pack rat nest, which has a big old, it's a big old snake skin right there. Pretty sure that's not a diamondback. And actually let's pull that and see what kind of snake it is, if I can. What do we think? kind of snake this is. Oh, this is a diamondback. I was mistaken. Big, big old diamondback shed right here. You can even see the pattern. Pretty sure that's what it is. This little guy hanging out at someone's porch. And now he's got a much better place to hang out. And look at that little snake right there. A little western diamondback rattlesnake. And I'm Watch him make his way into this little pack rat nest, or this big pack rat nest rather, for this little snake. He's just checking me out a little bit. Oh, he's getting angry. All right, so isn't it cool? That little snake right there will someday be big enough to shed a skin that's this big. Put that shed right there for perspective. That is crazy. That little snake someday will be big enough to shed a skin that large. Well, yeah, obviously. <laughs> well, what's, what's going, why does that rattlesnake look so big? It's the perspective to push it forward. Yes. Yeah, so uh, a, a good example. So this is my daughter. <laughs> um, she's scary in her own right. <laughs> when she's that small, but I couldn't imagine. Oh my <laughs> So that's exactly what's going on. Uh, I would be terrified of that baby too. Uh, but is that baby uh, eight foot tall? Uh, <laughs> with the proportions of a Martian? Uh, no, so that is, that's what's going on. It's just four six perspective. So if you're looking at if you're looking at a picture like that, and if you want to qualify, you know, it's not that those rattlesnakes in the other pictures weren't fairly large individuals, respectively, right? They were big rattlesnakes, right? But if you want to kind of qualify these pictures, is kind of look at this picture. Um, not only is the baby big, but so are my fingers.
And she's like, yeah, I have these rattlesnakes that are living up under my patio. And I, I don't know, they're not bothering me, but you, should I leave them here? I'm like, well, it's up to you. Do you have dogs? Do you have grandkids? She's like, nah. I'm like, well, you know, it's up to you. If you're okay with it, leave them there. They'll probably move on. So a couple days later, she's like, all right, you might want to come out. They're just, you know, they're coming up on the patio now. They don't, they don't, I'm trying to spray them off. They just, they're like, all right, she's not going to hurt me. I'm going to kick it here. Uh, so I go out there and she did, she had this raised patio with a whole bunch of, um, you know, potted flowers on this patio. She's watering it every day. That's leaking through underneath the patio. She had created this Haven, like the Ritz Carlton for rattlesnakes <laughs> underneath her patio. So I go over there, I got seven diamondbacks out of there, two king snakes, uh, some more desert toes. I mean, it was just a reptile soiree. It was great. Uh, I'm just as excited I can possibly be. Um, all right, well, we're all finished. What a good turnout today. Yeah. You guys did great. Alrighty, we're all finished. That is always a great time. The amount of questions that we get and the amount of like aha moments. Yeah, can you imagine? It's not just about like dispelling myths or being nerds or whatever, but like some sometimes with like these communities <clears throat> living out in the desert when we work with them all the time, people being crippled by a fear and just the relief. Can you imagine something that just bothers you? Uh, a fear or whatever and just resolving that the amount of relief that you get it's just so important if you if you fear any, anything whether it's rattlesnakes or anything like that uh, just learning as much as you can about it helps a ton all righty good job guys good job turnus you guys did amazing let's go home